Hi, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm gonna to review the Meros MS-130 temperature and humidity sensor. Now, Meros have been dipping their toe in the matter world for a little while now. And they've so far done it with smart plugs and their present sensor, which is fantastic, and a couple of other devices. And towards the end of last year, they released the MS-130 alongside a matter hub. The MS-130 is a smart temperature and humidity sensor, but also with a light sensor built in. The new Matter Hub is known as the MS-450A. Now I've been using these for the last month and I'm gonna combine this review together. That's because you do need this hub if you're picking up this device. And using a Meros Matter compatible device is probably gonna be the only reason you'll pick up this hub. And I wanna start off and talk about price. And Meros are one of my favorite smart home brands because they focus on creating Apple HomeKit compatible devices at a really good price. And this device is no different. If you pick up this with the sensor and the hub and a UK plug, it's gonna cost you 35 pounds. You can also save an extra 10% using my voucher code below. This is a really good price considering it comes with a matter compatible hub. So let's talk about spec. So the temperature and humidity sensor itself is battery powered. And it's powered by four AA batteries, which Meros say will last up to four years. Inside it is a fourth generation Swiss made high provision set of sensors. And whilst I can't accurately test these sensors, I can tell you that its measurements are similar to other devices I've got, such as the SwitchBot temperature and humidity sensors. It can operate between minus 20 and 60 degrees Celsius, and then also 1 to 99% humidity levels. It has a temperature accuracy of 0.1 degree and a humidity accuracy of 2%. Now, of course, that humidity operating temperature means it's not suitable for use in a bathroom. It also has a light level detector inside as well. This can detect between 0 and 8,000 lux. And that screen on the device can also show you time and date and some extra information as well. And we should probably talk about that screen. And that is a 3.7 inch screen. It has a backlight and that backlight is activated by vibration. That means when you tap the device or the area where it's placed, it comes on. It also has two action buttons on the top, which you can link to what they do in the Meros app. Now these aren't exposed to anything like Apple Home. And then for compatibility, because it is matter compatible, it works with Apple Home, Alexa, SmartThings and Google Home. It's also worth saying that data is stored in the Meros app from this device for up to two years. And then in terms of that new MSH450 hub, we should talk about the spec of that a little bit. So that hub can support up to 32 devices and connects to your home Wi-Fi via LAN or 2.4 gigahertz network. It's also that hub that exposes your devices to matter itself. That basically means you pair this hub to something like Apple Home, and then any device you subsequently add, like this temperature sensor, just appear automatically. Now at the time of recording, not every Meros product is compatible with this hub. Now they are slowly updating it, but these are the things that are currently compatible. So their contact sensor, their water leak sensor, their radiator valve, their smoke alarm, and a couple of other products as well, which I've not heard of. Now one thing to note is that there is no way to migrate your devices from one Meros hub to this new one. That means if you've got the old Meros hub and you want to update it, you couldn't replace it with this hub without deleting your devices and adding them again. This is obviously a pain, especially if you've got things like automation set up in Apple Home, and it's a shame they haven't thought of this. I did reach out to Meros to check that I wasn't wrong about this, but they confirmed you do have to factory reset your devices in order to add them to this new hub. For that reason, I haven't added my existing Meros products to the new hub. So let's get on to design. And we might as well keep talking about the hub, which has a small white boxy design, which looks like most hubs. And realistically, you're probably just gonna tuck this away and hide it somewhere. So for me, it's in a cupboard with one of my routers. The smart thermostat and humidity sensor has quite a chunky design. It has an LED display, as I've talked about, and a largely white body. The size of that display does make it easy to read, but realistically, this device is not gonna win any awards for design. And I think Maros have gone for practicality over design with this, but I would have liked to see it look a bit more modern. So let's talk about setup. So setup is relatively easy. If you haven't already got the Matter Hub added in the Meros app, you start off by adding that. You do that by hitting plus and finding the actual device you want to add, so the temperature and humidity sensor. It will then talk you through adding the hub if you don't already have one. You'll also add that hub to your third party app of choice. So for me, that's Apple Home. And as I said, once you've done that, any device you then add to the Meros app that pairs with this hub will just get automatically added to Apple Home. Now during the setup process, I did find that it froze for me the first time and I had to restart the hub and do it again. The second time round, it worked fine. If you do want to set up those two physical buttons on the top of the device, you can do this via the Meros app. This is done via the settings of the device where you'll assign a scene to those buttons. I do think it's a shame that those buttons aren't exposed to matter because I know you could use them in something like Apple Home. Unfortunately, they're not. Although in theory, this is something Meros could do with a firmware update in the future. 
This does mean that for now, the downside is you can only control Meryl's devices with those buttons. You can also tweak a few settings in the app if you want to. That includes the light level the area needs to be for the backlight to trigger, the sleep time and brightness. You can also change the temperature units, time formats, calibrate it and set alerts for low battery, temperature, humidity, relative humidity, illuminance, illuminance levels, absolute humidity, dew point temperature and vapour pressure deficits. If you want to, you can also export all of that data as a CSV by date. So let's talk about using it. And I've been using it for about a month at the time of recording. And there's a few different ways you might use this. So firstly, you can just glance at the device and see those details at a glance. Secondly, you can view temperature, humidity and light levels in Apple Home. And then for more information like some of those other metrics I talked about, you can go into the Meros app. It's also here you can see history of this device as well. And of course, all of this data and exposure to Apple Home means you can tie into automations and scenes. So perhaps you want to turn a light on automatically at a certain light level when people are at home. Or maybe you want to turn on a fan when the humidity level gets to a certain level. The other thing that's really useful is you can get notifications via the Meros app when the levels go above or below certain levels, and you can set these to what you want. Now I've had this in my loft, so I can get a notification if the humidity level gets too high up there, and that would help me know if there was a leak. And in using this, I've found that it's reliable, accurate, and it hasn't gone offline at all. And of course, with a massive three-year battery, I'm hardly ever going to need to change those batteries. And when I do, I'll get a notification. So all in all, what's the verdict? So this device has a pretty affordable price and packs in three sensors. And it exposes all of those to matter, so it's great to have all three of those in Apple's HomeKit. It also seems pretty accurate and has really good battery life. In my opinion, there's two main downsides. Firstly, it's the design, which I think just doesn't look great. Of course, for me, with it in my loft, that's not an issue, but if you're gonna have it somewhere publicly displayed, that might bother you. And secondly, my issue is really with that hub, because I'd love for the hub to replace my existing Meros hub. However, in order to do that, I'd have to factory reset my Meros devices, add them to this new hub instead, and then set up all my automations in Apple Home again. And that's way too much faff for changing a hub. I hope this is something Meros can address in the future, but for now, that's the only way to do it. If you're just starting out though, this is gonna be the hub you're gonna to want to future-proof your home if you're buying Meros products. I'll put links below to this device on both Amazon and on the Meros website, alongside a discount code I've got for the Meros website. They will go to Amazon or Meros in whichever country you're in, and they are affiliate links. That means that you can make a purchase with one of those links, I'll get a very small cut of what you spend and no cost to yourself. This will help keep this channel going because this isn't my full-time job. I don't get paid to make these videos and I never take sponsored videos. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like because that also helps this channel out. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Comment down below if you've got any questions and I'll answer those for you. And I'll see you guys again soon.